the problems and adaptations of respiration in diving mammals the normally in uh, diving mammals the aquatic vertebrates they are very efficient uh, divers they can survive in on the water without coming up for air so this is due to their auxiliary or additional accessory respiratory mechanism minimal oxidation requirement and specialized metabolic patterns now the vertebrates normally uh, those who are aquatic include amphibians turtles crocodiles snakes ex uh, penguins etc the aquatic mammals include whales walruses porpoises seals beavers etc they are adapted to dive for food and escape from their enemies their uh, their ability to remain under water depends on the ability for maximum storage and minimal utilization of surface air and to use most sparingly under water while under water they use atmospheric oxygen already stored in myoglobin to replenish the used oxygen they frequently come to the surface their capacity for the most judicious use of oxygen store is surprising so uh, for example the sperm whales can go deep as 1000 uh, meter or more and can remain there for one or two hours without any you know uh, effect anoxic effects the main problems that uh, the mammals or diving mammals experience is lack of oxygen at the depth difficulty for the elimination of carbon dioxide from tissues difficulty for the proper distribution of oxygen to different parts depletion of the oxygen storage resulting in hypoxia or anoxia bradycardia or low heart rate slow blood circulation to organs other than brain heart and adrenal glands oxygen toxicity gas bubbling due to decompression uh, sickness when the animals ascend to surface quickly to overcome this problems they have certain adaptations the volume of their blood is two times greater than the non divers many of them have high concentration of myoglobin and high oxygen storing capacity their lungs are not larger than those of non divers during diving circulatory and respiratory adjustments occur to ensure the proper distribution and maximum utilization of oxygen the danger of hypoxia or anoxia that is encountered by underwater animals is same to those of animals at high altitude but the solution is different for the two habitats in water the solution is involve uh, the solutions involve temporary storage and judicious use of oxygen ivide underwater condition la ee hypoxia allengil oxygen da abhavam ഉണ്ടാവാതിരിക്കാൻ സ്റ്റോറേജ് ഫെസിലിറ്റി ഫോർ ഓക്സിജൻ കൂട്ടുതൽ കൂടുതലാക്കുന്നതും ഓക്സിജൻ്റെ യൂസ് വളരെ ജുഡീഷ്യസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള യൂസ് ആണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആൻഡ് അത് കെപ്പാസിറ്റി ടു ഡീൽ വിത്ത് ഓക്സിജൻ ഡെപ്റ്റ് ഓക്സിജൻ ഡെപ്റ്റ് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഓക്സിജൻ കൂടുതലായിട്ട് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ഉണ്ടാവുന്ന ക്ഷാമമാണ് ഓക്സിജൻ ഡെപ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് At the beginning of diving, a set of uh, physiological me mechanisms get activated. They are called as diving reflex. Breathing stops. Animal makes use of the oxygen stored in the myoglobin. Uh, this causes a reduction in the supply of oxygen to most tissues. As a result, heartbeat becomes weak. heart rate falls to 1/10th of the normal rate total blood circulation becomes reduced blood pressure tends to drop fall in blood pressure will be prevented by the constriction of some blood vessels partial constriction of some vessels and total constriction of some others causes redistribution of blood in such a way that maximum share goes to the vital organs such as heart and brain which can 
least withstand hypoxia. Circulation to skin, muscles, viscera may be sharply reduced. This adaptive adjustment minimizes the utilization of oxygen. At the same time, it ensures supply of oxygen to organs that are highly sensitive to hypoxia. Ettum kudal oxygen avishyolla korchu vital organs and heart and brain. Avadekil blood supply kootum, pashay matrilla salangal lekkilla supply korakki anji inada pura adila. Uh, the oxygen store in myoglobin gets exhausted and muscle resort to anaerobic uh, metabolism. This leads to lactic acid deposition in the muscles and building up of oxygen depth. At that, after some time, the animal will come to the surface and breathe in air. As a result, the oxygen supply to the tissue goes high, heart rate becomes normal, blood circulation to all parts increases, oxygen store in myoglobin builds up, muscles return to aerobic metabolism. Lactic acid gets an aerobically oxidized and oxygen depth gets repaid. The oxygen depth, it is a physiological state in which there is an excess demand of oxygen. Where uh, when a normally aerobic animal is forced to respire anaerobically under hypoxia, this oxygen depth occurs. To meet the increased demand for energy, pyruvate is converted to lactic acid. Lactic acid is toxic. Its breakdown requires oxygen. Accumulation of lactic acid builds up oxygen depth. It is repaid when oxygen is available again and it is, lactic acid is oxidized in the liver by Cori's cycle. Decompression sickness or dysbarism or Cassin's disease is a serious condition of gas bubbling from blood. It occurs when deep water diver or a caisson worker, that is a person who makes tunnel under rivers, suddenly returns to the surface from deep water. Petan the tarik dive either to petan the model like very bond down or you sickness and decompression disease in the marinda. E deep water la bangra pressure code the lairiki. So there will be large quantities of nitrogen and other gases which are dissolved in the blood of the diver. Excessive amount of dissolved nitrogen in blood fluid will cause giddiness. symptoms Just as which is similar to alcoholic intoxication. This condition is called nitrogen narcosis. The greater the depth, more severe will be the condition. But deep diving in a poet, a pet and the more like a tissue very important down on a nitrogen gases of blood delay bubbly the very and chance. Uh, if a deep water diver uh, ascends to the surface slowly, this dissolved oxygen will be eliminated through his blood through the lungs. However, if he comes to the surface all of a sudden, there will be a rapid fall in the pressure of ambient gases in the body. As a result, he will suffer from decompression disease, nitrogen and other gases will bubble out from the blood. It will block the pulmonary circulation. It will cause difficulty in breathing, joint pain, dizziness, convulsion, cardiac arrhythmia. It is irregular rhythm of heartbeat, extreme fatigue, paralysis, unconsciousness. Usually, the symptoms of decompression sickness begin to appear immediately or after a short latent period of few hours. The onset of the program, that is the onset of the problem is with acute pain in the major joints. Obese people are more sensitive to a fall in pressure than thin and lean persons. Joint pain pattern. Decompression diseases, uh, sorry, sickness can be prevented by a slow ascent. condition prevent if you are slowly moving up to the surface. Or you can use uh, a special, you know, uh, decompression tank within 5 minutes after reaching the surface. Use of helium oxygen mixtures. Instead of nitrogen containing air is suggested for diving. So, since helium is only 40% soluble as nitrogen in blood. The adaptations of diving mammals. Diving mammals are able to remain 
under water for long time by the virtue of the following adaptation storage of oxygen in myoglobin and venous blood reservoirs low metabolic rate low heart rate and low cardiac output peripheral vaso constrictions constrictions such as blood vessels to recan pettunathu large blood volumes low sensitivity to respiratory and circulatory centers to in increasing concentration of carbon dioxide and lactic acid tolerance to oxygen depth in muscles so all these are the then the presence of retia mirabilia it's an anatomical uh, position related to the ribs in some of the diving mammals seen in uh, the dolphins etc 